This last Friday evening, the visiting American actor Therese Howard, led by the Agriculture Minister Frank Tumwebaze, paid a cut score to the Toro Kingdom. They were received by a delegation of the Kingdom officials before meeting the King. <laughs> The meeting discussions were majorly centered about the rich diversity of the kingdom. Our culture is very diverse in Africa and in Uganda and Toro in particular. So we feel we need as more brothers and sisters from the outside world to come and share the, the deep, unique culture that we have. The kingdom, however, highlighted that through such visits of such personalities, opportunities like markets for local producers are rest assured. Tora is beautiful here, as beautiful it is, it needs involvement. And the people would hope Tora is you and me. We can join our energy, we join our brains, and we build our kingdom. Flanked by his wife, agriculture minister and others, the American actor informed the king about the essence of his maiden trip to the part of Africa. That I want to share with Africa so that they are the very first. The technology that we were bringing was so that Africa would be first and would give to the world and have the opportunity to grow. That's what's been missing. We've always been the center of the world and became everyone's point. As far as we want to advance something, we we'll bring somebody black into your sport. It's going to be advanced. You want to, your business to grow, bring someone of color into that place, and they're going to work extra hard. But we've never received the, the tools so that we can participate on the world stage, and that's what I want to talk about. The Queen Mother held Terence for tracing his origin. You are not far from us, although you are American. But you are an African. Yes. And why can't you come back to Africa? And build the beautiful country like Uganda and the power of Africa. The king's message to the visitors was received by enthusiasm. Uh, first of all, it's an honor to host a very influential person like you here in the kingdom of Toro and Uganda as a whole. Um, I actually got to know of Mr. Terence Howard through the series Empire. So when the word got out that you were here in Uganda, I was very, very much excited in meeting you and your dear wife. But it's an honor uh, to have you here. We are into so many different projects here. Uh, healthcare is on top there, education, tourism, agriculture, uh, promoting, as well as also uh, promoting and protecting our culture as well, as the tour. Earlier, the jewelry Terence had joked about his name. I don't know my name, so again, I'm here and asking for a name. The king later accorded him a rally as a pet name at a cultural ritual presided over by the king himself. <laughs> His wife too received a worry as a pet name by the king as well. I have given you the pet name of Abol. Abol. In an interview shortly after the visit, Therese reiterated his love for Uganda and investing in it. In the potential of the children here, I see three and four year old kids going down busy streets that I would be, a f my kids wouldn't even know how to go up to the corner of it. And I'm like, wow, I have, I have, I've taken my, ch not given my children the opportunity to grow like the children of Africa, the children of Uganda, the children of the kingdom of Torah. I have not given them the opportunity to, to see the world and experience this because this is what we need. Minister Frank Tumwebaz equally notes that in regardless of any public criticism, Uganda will continue welcoming such opportunities. So when we get people who love our country coming here genuinely, organically, not hired, like Terence Howard, just coming here out of love to explore our country, it's a great achievement for our country. And I really appeal to all Ugandans, irrespective of our small other differences, to be united by such things. Robert Nyango and Sharon Chomugisha for UBC News.